Hello everyone, my name is Ola Dejiaka. In this tutorial video, I want to show you different formulas to calculate plane shapes. And I want to list out the different types of plane shapes. And I'll also teach you how to calculate perimeters and areas of these plane shapes. And you want to enjoy this video till the end because this video is going to be very interesting. Thank you. A plane shape is a two-dimensional closed figure that has no thickness. In geometry, a plane figure has no thickness at all. It lies entirely in one plane. Below are examples of different types of plane figures. Okay, we're going to discuss the properties of each of the plane shapes and then calculate their perimeters and area. A square. A square is a flat shape with four equal sides. All sides are equal in length. Each internal angle is angle 90, which is 90 degrees. Opposite sides are parallel. So it is a parallelogram. Area of a square. The area is a side length squared. Area equals to A raised to the power of 2, which means area equals to length times what? Length. And then you let's calculate the area of a square. For example, a square has a side length of 6 meters. What is its area? From the formula, area equals to length squared. Now, if one of the length is 6 meters, so therefore, area becomes 6 meters times 6 meters, which gives you 36 meters squared. The area is also half of the diagonal squared which is area equals to diagonal is part 2 all over 2. Perimeter of a square. The perimeter is the distance around the edges of a square. The perimeter is 4 times the side length which is perimeter equals to 4 times length. Now let's take an example. A square has a side length of 12 centimeters. What is its perimeter? Now from the formula, we says perimeter equals to 4 times what? Length. When the length is given as 12 cm, then the, then the answer becomes 4 times 12 cm, which gives you what? 48 centimeters. A rectangle is a four-sided flat shape where every angle is a right angle, just like the square. Each internal angle is 90 degrees, Opposite sides are parallel and of equal length, so it is a parallelogram. Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is calculated as area equals to length times breadth. Below is an example to buttress a point. A rectangle is 6 meters wide and 3 meters high. What is its area? Now from the formula we says area equals to length times breadth. Area equals to 6 meters times 3 meters and that equals to 8 meters square. Perimeter of a rectangle. The perimeter is the distance around all plane shape. Now the formula for calculating perimeter of a rectangle is perimeter equals to 2 length plus 2 breadth. In a simple form we can place it as perimeter equals to 2 into bracket. That means open a bracket length plus Break and then you close the brackets. Now, this example says a rectangle is 12 centimeter long and 5 centimeter tall. What is its perimeter? Okay, now perimeter equals to 2 into bracket length plus what break. Now, what's the perimeter? The perimeter, um, what's the length? Sorry, the length here is 12 centimeters and the breadth is 5 centimeters. So, now we're going to fix the values into the formula and then we're going to have 2 times open bracket 12 centimeters plus 5 centimeters and then we are going to close our bracket now the operations in mathematics or the operation in mathematics says we should solve every object in the bracket so we're going to add with the values in the bracket which is going to give us 17 centimeters and then we're going to multiply with the two and then our answer becomes 34 centimeters correct a trapezoid a trapezoid is a four-sided flat shape with straight sides that has a pair of opposite sides parallel marked with these arrows below can you see it 
okay it has a pair of parallel sides is an isosceles trapezoid when it has equal angles from the parallel sides it can also be called trapezium in the united kingdom okay take a look at the figure below the trapezoid or a trapezium the parallel sides are the bases the other two sides are the legs the distance from one base to the other is called the altitude. How to calculate the area and perimeter of a trapezium? AB and DC represent the two parallel sides in a trapezium. The perimeter is the addition of all the sides together. Now, what is the area of a trapezium? The area is the average of all parallel sides times the height, which is A equals to half into bracket a plus b which is the opposite side times height okay now let's take this example to calculate the perimeter and area of a trapezium now this is the the shape we are going to calculate so we're going to look for the perimeter of this shape now don't forget that the perimeter is to find the sum of all the sides okay then you have 13 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 centimeters which in all gives you what 35 centimeter to find the area of the same shape which is area equals to average of all parallel sides times what height and then you can see there it says up into bracket 13 plus 7 which is the opposite what size times what height which is 4 centimeters squared and then a equals to 20 over 2 times 4 and then you do division first which gives you a 10 times 4 and then you have 40 centimeter squared a circle a circle is a round shaped figure that has no corners or edges in geometry a circle can be defined as a closed two-dimensional curved shape how to calculate the area of a circle the area of a circle is pi r squared which is pi times the radius squared or when you know the diameter area equals to diameter all over 4 times diameter squared or when you know the circumference area equals to circumference square all over 4 pi okay to calculate the circumference and area of a circle now don't forget that d represent diameter r is for what radius now what is circumference of the circle circumference of the circle is calculated as 2 pi what r or pi times what d a which is area area equals to pi times r square or pi times d square all over what 4 now don't forget that a pi is a constant which is measured as 3.14 centimeters or 22 over what 7 okay we are going to use this example to calculate the circumference of a circle now don't forget that the circumference of a circle equals to 2 times pi times what radius and then you have the radius to be 42 centimeters now don't forget that you fix the values into the word formulas okay anywhere you see how you put 42 because in the diagram 42 represents the radius okay so you have 2 times 22 over 7 which is the pi times what 42 as what radius into what centimeters c equals to 2 times 22 times what 6 because 7 in 42 gives what 6 and then your answer is 264 centimeters as your second friends the area of this shape area is calculated or the formula for area is pi r what square it means r square that's radius what square so area equals 22 over 7 which is the pi times the radius which is 42 centimeter we are going to square it into centimeter what square so area equals 22 over 7 times 1764 that value is 42 times 42 which is 42 square okay don't forget so area equals to what uh okay now what we're going to do here is we're going to divide 1764 by what seven and then what 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 are we going to have now the value we're going to have i'm going to multiply by what 22 and we're going to have 5000 
544 centimeters square which is the area of this what shape now don't forget that the circumference the value of circumference of that shape is 2604 centimeters and area equals to 5544 now let me tell you something circumference the value of circumference can be measured in centimeters or in meters why the area can be measured in meter squared or centimeter what squared a parallelogram a parallelogram is a flat shape with opposite sides parallel and equal in length opposite sides are parallel don't forget opposite sides are equal in what length do not forget that opposite angles are equal that is angle a r is the same with angle what b angles a and angle b adds up to what 180 degrees area and perimeter of a parallelogram don't forget that a b is parallel to cd and ad is parallel to what bc and they are of equal size the perimeter of a parallelogram is 2a plus 2b that is base and what height now if the base is 25 centimeters and the height is 70 centimeters and what do you have you have perimeter equals to 50 plus 30 centimeters and that gives you what 84 centimeters 84 centimeters okay now the area equals to base times height and that's simple now what do you do you multiply the base with what the height and then you have your area to be what 300 centimeters squared triangle a triangle has three sides and three angles. The three angles always add up to 180 degrees. Check our channel. We discuss extensively triangles and its type. The area of a triangle. The area is half of the base times height. Now don't forget, B is the distance along the base. Height, which is denoted H, measures at right angle to the base area equals to half times base times height or base times height all over what two the formula works for all triangles note a simpler way of writing the formula is base height all over two just like i've said now let's look at an example to solve the area of a triangle what is the area of this triangle note 12 is the height not the length of the left hand side height equals to 12 base equals to what 20 now if you look at it area equals to half times base times height which is half times 20 times what 12 which gives you what 120 centimeters the base can be any side just be sure the height is measured at right angle to the word base thanks for watching guys subscribe to my channel for more tutorials Support me on Knowledge is Porn by Aladi Kienaka so I can always keep making videos and also feel free to email me at aladidwbs at gmail.com Thank you. Bye-bye.